We are the dollars and cents. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Well, today we're doing another, um, sort of an unboxing. It's a tester bottle, so not really going to be a, a big unboxing, but it will be a first impressions video and a possible cheap but good fragrance video. As I got this one for $28 shipped, I will leave the link below if it's worth getting. Um, I guess I can leave the link below even if it's not worth getting. You guys can make up your own mind. But I, I saw someone talking about this one in a cheapy group that I'm in on Facebook. And somebody was, somebody was selling one. Somebody was also requesting one saying, man, it's getting harder and harder to find. I need to get my hands on it. And I was like, all right, you guys know how I work. Uh, you know, those of you who watch uh, this channel a lot, um, when something, when people are talking about something, I, I get a little interested because I need to make content, right? I need to make the videos for you guys. And so when, when people were, were asking about this, I was like, all right, what's the big deal with this fragrance? It, it's, it's, it's from a house that I've done one, I think one, um, one other video on, and I'll leave that in the description below so you guys can watch it. And I wasn't that impressed. It was okay for a cheapie, but it wasn't the greatest thing I've ever smelled. There's a couple of other fragrances on the market that reminded me of it. Um, so I was like, why, why is this one such, now it is a cheapy group, right? So to be fair, the, the probably, the, the guys and gals in the group are probably just focused on cheapies and they're, and that's okay. Um, but to me, I was, you know, kind of, I guess maybe I was being a bit of a snob and I was like, well, so, you know, what's good about this one, guys? I had my monocle on. I was like, what's so good about this one? Um, so I looked it up. It was cheap. Um, I actually went on eBay and people were selling this one for a lot more than what I got it for. So I was like, okay, is it discontinued? Is it getting hard to find? Am I, am I sitting on a gym? So I went ahead and just got it, right? I got it for 28 bucks and I didn't, I don't know what's going on with that price. Maybe it's just an eBay, uh, price fluctuation, <clears throat> but from the house of Lipidus, we have poker face guys. Again, uh, don't know much about it. I I'm guessing this is supposed to, um, you wear this from the Vegas to the casino, something guys. Here's the bottle. Um, again, not, not gonna go in too much crazy detail with it in this video because it is a cheapie, 28 bucks. I tend to I tend to scale it back just a little bit, get a, get a little bit looser with you guys on these on these cheapy videos because I just don't know what to expect. I could spray my hand and be completely like, uh, hate this one. And then I'm kind of out of it. Like I sort of just, it's like when you're losing a baseball game like 17 to one, you just sort of mail it in. I don't wanna you know be like completely like that, but I tend to kind of just scale it back a little bit, guys. So. Um, now, then again, if this, if this fragrance is awesome, I'll, I'll kind of, you know, pull the top a little bit, a little bit tighter. But Poker Face from the house of Ted Lipidus is a men's woody spicy fragrance released in 2018. I don't know the nose by this fragrance and it is an eau de toilette concentration. This is 100 mil, like I said, um, 100 mil tester, eau de toilette, uh, 28 bucks shipped. I think it was like 20, but the shipping is what kind of threw it over the top there. Guys, for the notes on this fragrance in the top, we have lavender, violet leaves, bergamot, and mint. In the mid, we have iris, cardamom, and black pepper. And in the base, we round things off with tonka bean, cedar, and patchouli. All right, guys. Now, now after I did a little, you know, I, I did the digging and I found it online. I went ahead and pulled the trigger. I, I didn't want to get influenced too much, so that's where I got the notes. But then I, I kind of scrolled down. I didn't scroll down at the comments, but I scrolled down at the what it reminds me of. Someone said this reminded them of La, La Nuit de la Homme from um, YSL. Now, I've gone down that road before with other fragrances. There's uh, a couple of other. I think I did a clone uh, from um, Parfums Vintage. I think they, they made one, and there was one other. Um, I don't think I've gotten any other fragrances on the market that are, like, very, very close to La Nuit. Um, but this one seems to have a basic designer composition. But, you know, who knows? I, I have, Again, I haven't smelled it. I'll let you guys know what I get right now, guys. But um, I'm not expecting that much. <clears throat> $28 fragrance. Not expecting too much. Uh, but we'll see if it's if it's something special. Um, at least I know if I don't like it, maybe I can get you know get it to that guy who was really looking for it, guys. Uh, quick spray on my hand. I'm gonna wear the fragrance tonight, so I want to go ahead and uh, get this one going. Hopefully it's not too heavy because it's still hot outside. I guess still summertime here in Texas. Okay, the uh, sprayer is not very good, very cheap. Okay. Hmm. All right. I can see how they get La Nuit, but it's definitely like fresher. I'm getting uh, the lavender, so it has like that designer smell. I'm getting the bergamot. It's very sharp. Hmm. This doesn't re exclusively remind me of La Nuit, but it does remind me of something else. I'm getting the tonka bean in this. It's like a sweet, nutty, uh, citrusy type of fragrance. Yeah. Honestly, not that impressed with this one right now. It smells a little, it just smells like cheap designer. I mean, I, I'm getting, um, man, I wish it would this remind me of, because this one does remind me of something I've tried. 
within the last few years. And maybe maybe it is La Nui that I'm getting. Maybe that's why it's familiar, but I'm not, but it's not exact. I'm starting to get the DNA a little bit. So it has like that thick sexiness that uh that 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 you know the new wheat means night so like it has a little bit of that darker version of the loam so i can i can see that um again it was a cheapy group i mean they're raving about this one and when and, and if and then i don't know those people who are talking about it personally or anything like that so i don't know if they, if they only kind of stick to designers and they don't know how strong niche or just more expensive fragrances can be then maybe they're sort of stuck in that little box on that on that level um, but right now this one doesn't seem very strong at all, but it's got, it's got some, some pop to it. And yeah, I'm definitely getting the La Nuit wheat, um, DNA. I can see how some, how, how people can think this is a sexy fragrance. It smells nice. It does, it does remind me of La Nuit. not exact, but it's along those lines. It has like that powdery, um, nutty sort of little bit of citrus sweetness to it. Yeah, I think the main notes I'm getting with this one are going to be the lavender, a little bit of the violet leaf, because there's a little bit of bite to it, a little bit of sharpness. Um, the bergamot, iris, but not lipstick iris. The cardamom, it's a little spicy from the black pepper, a little nutty from the tonka bean, and that's really about it. Not getting a heavy cedar note, not getting a heavy patchouli note. The mint's not really there for me. It's actually something a little bit cooling, but not that much. But yeah, okay, I can definitely see why they would think this is La Nui, and maybe that's where they're going. I mean, at the time, I mean, at 20, 2018, is that what I said? Um, I mean, La Nui was released way before that, so maybe, I don't know, they just decided to kind of go down that realm. It's starting to get better as time's going. It's actually getting a lot nicer. It's getting, it's very sexy. This does remind me of La Nui a little bit, little bit more now, and actually reminds me of a sharper version of it and and. Um, right now, anyway, kind of, kind of a better version. Cause I want to say that one, even, even though it was a night version, it was, it was very watered down. And this one at least has a little pop. I think this, that, I think that women would like this one in the air if you wore it, because it does remind me of La Nui and that's a very popular fragrance. People love that fragrance. So if it smells similar, you know, it's going to be good. It's kind of a no brainer, honestly. This one's actually moving into to more the, the territory of Loam now, the original Loam, um, the cat, the day version, it actually smells more like that right now, like the 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 first version of that one, because um, there's a bunch of flankers now, so I'm getting a good cross between Loam and La Nuit, which is actually not bad. It's actually keeping very good company. Um, it's changed a lot since its opening, as you guys, you guys can see. I sort of changed my tune a lot from then to now. It's a little chocolatey too. I always thought that was La Nuit too. Uh, La Nuit always gave me a chocolatey vibe, even though there's no chocolate in it. Yeah. Not, not a bad little fragrance for 28 bucks. Um, yeah, we'll see where it goes because it could change and just turn into nothing. And it, you know, always going to come down to the performance and you know, how much, how close does it actually resemble those two fragrances that I mentioned, like at the end of the day. But I will say right now on first impression, if you like those fragrances, you're going to like this one. If you, if women like those fragrances on you, you're going to like them. And those hold their value. I think they're still pretty expensive. Even when you buy them like, uh, on, um, like fragrance net and those other, websites but yeah not a bad little release guys so without you know trying to trying to keep it as short as possible so i'm gonna wear this fragrance tonight over the next couple of days give you guys an update shortly talk to you then all right guys well i'm back with my update for poker face from the house of ted lipidus what can i say about this fragrance guys i'm gonna say i do like this one and i'm gonna say that it does smell like la nuit de la home from ysl um, a cheaper version of it, like cheaper written price. I do think this is a better, like stronger. We'll get to the, the markings here in a sec, but I do think this one had better performance than the original La Nuit. It's not exact, but you definitely get like that La Nuit experience. Um, there's a few extra notes in here. Um, in the dry down, I did get the cardamom more. Or I'm sorry, I did get the iris. So at first, I don't think I, I picked it up. I'm gonna wear this tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray my hand again, just so I can try it again. But yeah, I mean, uh, later on as it dried down, I got a lot of the violet leaves. It was a little, it was a little, um, had a little bite to it. And I think I was from the violet leaves. Um, I got some of the cardamom. The iris was later on. And whenever I actually accidentally sprayed some on my shirt and whenever uh, I was smelling my shirt later in the day, I could pick up a slight 
sort of uh, lipstick tinge, not like the, not a lot, just a little bit. Um, but that's how I knew that that iris was there. But I mean, you can, you can get it in the top. It's just with all the other notes going on, jumping around, like it's kind of hard to pick up. And I do pick up that mint just a tad bit. Um, also on the dry down, I got a little bit of like an orange blossom type of scent. Uh, there's no orange blossom in this. I'm not really sure where that came from. It could have just been some of these other notes mixing together with the, with the bergamot. I have no idea, but Overall, you do get the pretty much same experience that you get from La New Wheat. And guys, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys, this is a cheap or good fragrance. I do think this is a cheap or good fragrance. If you guys are fans of La New Wheat um, or uh, Loam, the original, you're probably going to like this one. And I think, like I said, I paid 28 bucks with, with shipping from Joma Shop. I don't know how many they have left. Again, I went on eBay and they were double the price. And some people on Facebook, I think, were saying, like, buy them up now because you don't know when they're going to come back. Yada, yada, yada. I don't know. Um, if they mean they're, they're discontinued, they're starting to become hard to find. I have no idea. Um, but this is a hundred mil for 28 bucks. That is a steal for this fragrance guys. Uh, longevity I got with this fragrance was about six hours, six good hours. Um, could you get the dry down, uh, around eight possibly, but it'll be really close to the skin. Um, the projection was okay for an eau de toilette. It was, it was, it was pretty good for an eau de toilette. This isn't a parfum. Um, it's an eau de toilette as you guys can probably read right there. Um, so this actually got better performance than i expected it to this has better performance than a lot of wheat i'll go ahead and say that right now a lot of wheat is notorious for having bad performance and even people say oh you gotta get the 09 bottle and those are like really you know super expensive now hard to find i think i did a video a while back like years and years ago where i compared the two formulas and i want to say there was a slight bit of a difference but not overall i think you're gonna get a better experience with this one when it comes to the longevity department projection wasn't that bad uh didn't didn't fill up a room by any means but for another toilet it was pretty good i got wafts of it at least at least the first three hours and then it got closer to the skin. But um, yeah, so, uh, and we'll get to the categories here in a minute because that could come in handy when it comes to some of these uh, occasions we're going to be using them. And, but I do think this would be good for the seasons. I do think this would be good. Um, I think it'd be, it'd be okay year round. It's not too strong. Now it does have more of a thicker, heavier feel, sexier feel, which, which sort of leans towards cooler weather. But I do think you can pull this one off at night. In the summer, I'm not trying to say it's exclusively a summer fragrance, but I do think you can pull this off, this one off in warmer weather when it's nighttime, like when you're going out. That way, it's not super duper hot. Um, but I do think that the composition leans it a bit towards fall. But I'm going to say year round. I think this one, this one be safe year round, especially because it's an eau de toilette. It's not going to choke anybody out. It just smells really, really sexy, guys. And if you guys know what La Nuit smells like, um, then you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, the occasions for this fragrance. If you guys haven't guessed already, the bottle's dark, it's gray, it's black. Date night, evening out, suit and tie. Not going to be strong enough for the club. It might get you some attention when you're close up to, with the lady if you're at the club. But it's not going to be strong enough to like really just project. Um, unless it's like the first couple of hours or whatever. But um, or, or spray your shirt, maybe. That will probably get the job done if you actually spray your shirt with this one. But I do think it's safe for work. But I do think this is more just like, this is a very sexy fragrance. Guys, wherever you wore a lot of new wheat, you're going to want to wear this one. Date night for sure. That's going to be going to be the main thing. I think women are going to think this fragrance is super duper sexy, um, especially for that price, guys. I mean, if you can find it for that price anyway, I wouldn't pay any more. We'll get to that in a second, but I'm just saying, like for the, for 28 bucks, I think this is a good fragrance. Uh, ages, I do, I do think uh, it's probably 20 and up. Um, although you know this isn't like a composition that the younger guys come across every day. I just think it's safe. I think it's a safe composition. Um, it's not going to be like you know the high school scent where you wear it casually, and, and I mean, if you wear it and think it smells good, then that's great. Um, but I do think some younger noses might be like, oh, I don't know, there's some weird stuff going on with this one. You know, maybe 20 and up, but I think it'd be safe. But this one's very, very sexy. It's mass appealing. No one's gonna get upset if you wear too much of this stuff. I mean, again, a lot of new wheat, guys. This one's holding great company. So if it, if it smells like a lot of new wheat, then it's gonna get uh, great feedback, guys. Overall, I do think this is a cheap but good fragrance. I do think this is a this is a nice fragrance. I'm not a big fan of the House of uh, Ted Lipidus. It's sort of kind of a cheaper brand. I have nothing against him. I don't know him personally or anything like that. But I I tried the Ultimate years ago, and I just wasn't you know it wasn't blown away. I wasn't blown away by it. Um, it had had a dated feel to it, a chalky orange blossom type fragrance. And this one technically it's kind of a clone, and so they were kind of copying YSL. But again. That's a good fragrance, and that's a fragrance that people complain about all the time that the, the performance isn't there. So I'm telling you, the por the performance is not like stellar, but it's better than than La Nuit, in to to me, to, in my opinion, guys. You guys don't take my word for it, but for 28 bucks, might be worth a blind buy. 
if you if you guys like La Nuit and you like uh, what that fragrance brings to the table, this one pretty much checks all the boxes, guys. Um, and if you can find this one for under thirty dollars, maybe even thirty five, I wouldn't go any higher than that. If you get curious, you can do forty bucks, but I wouldn't go any higher than that. But I, I'm just going off with the price that I paid, which is twenty eight dollars shipped. Um, so if you can find this fragrance for around there, I think this this might be a cheap but good fragrance. You'd want to add to your collection, and for that price, man, you guys can just spray yourself. All the way down. I did. I did sort of give the sprayer a hard time. I mean, I don't like the bottle. It's kind of cheap. It kind of has like this cross hatching of like a metal something or other. But, but the, there the, a lot of juice does come out with this one. Like the sprayer isn't like really nice and and smooth. But a lot of juice does come out. So you'll be able to to really just douse yourself in this stuff, and you'll definitely be able to get noticed wearing this stuff, guys. But what are your thoughts on Poker Face? Have you guys tried this fragrance? Let me know your thoughts on this fragrance down in the comments below. Am I crazy, guys? I mean, and does this smell like lot new weed or no? Am I my nose off? Who knows, guys? Let me know. I know it's big, but <laughs> let me know if my nose is off, guys. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching my video on my channel. If you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notifications for future first impressions videos, and first set of content just like this, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, dollars and cents. There, you'll find first set of photos and future contest winners. And as always, until next video, you guys, take care. Thanks.